Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, the topic today is marriage, what's the big deal? When I was young, my parents were part of a tennis club and a lot of our social life took place there. Occasionally there were parties and most adults got drunk. I was so shocked when I saw husband from couple A dance with wife from couple B and smooching in front of the teenagers and the children. The social life in the club was like a real-life drama with affairs, divorces, backstabbing and lots of gossip. Naturally, my view of marriage was not so favorable. It's either heartbreaking or extremely boring. I could not think of any inspiring example around me. There probably existed, but not where I was. So marriage was not on my bucket list until I began to study the Bible and listen to the teachings of Reverend Sun Myung Moon and realized that deep down in my heart I was sorely longing for this. After a few failed relationships I had lost hope that I could succeed. Knowing that I had nothing to lose I welcomed Reverend Moon to select my spouse and follow God's way of conducting my life. To all you critics out there I just want to let you know that we have been married now for 37 glorious years and still like each other. <laughs> Over time we realized why we were so good for each other and we are deeply grateful to Reverend Moon for bringing us together. Has it been easy breezy peaches and cream with an amazing chemistry to boot? Let me start with stating that the devil hates marriages and families. Divide and conquer is his motto. We must know how the enemy operates. We must know that we are fighting the forces of evil on every level. It is worth noting that the government is giving incentives to single mothers for having children out of wedlock or killing babies in the womb. Is that a coincidence? Is the government supporting and promoting the traditional family? They want to be the big powerful daddy that we all are dependent on. God gave couples the honeymoon period like a natural high so that they can bond, but then the homework begins. Some people just want a repeated high, but over time it becomes empty, hollow, very lonely and depressing. I don't want to judge anybody, but serial relationships just don't seem to work. Statistics show that the divorce rate is higher in second and third marriages. Some things I learned in 37 years is don't put your marriage on automatic pilot. You will end up as strangers. Do preventative maintenance to avoid breakdown. Handle with prayer. Marriage needs constant intentional care, just like my houseplant. If I don't water my houseplant, it goes limp like that. So if I don't water my marriage, it does the same thing. Luckily, if I water my houseplant, then it just perks right up. But some houseplants um, are just be to the point of beyond any return, so <laughs> don't let that happen to your marriage. <clears throat> it is not magic or luck, but pure diligence and humility to learn and admit when we are wrong. Difficulties will come too, but with God all things can be overcome. Deep friendship, peace and security are the side effects of this effort. The following books have been very helpful to me. Love and Respect by Emerson Egeridge, Stormy O'Martian, The Power of a Praying Wife and The Power of a Praying Husband. The problem is that we are not well prepared, that we are not prepared well enough for marriage and parenthood. Even a hairstylist needs a license to practice their line of work, but young couples are under the illusion that everything will just magically work out. Ideally, the good example of our parents prepares us for family life, but that's a far cry from reality. I would like to encourage you to seek Christ-centered counseling, advice, workshops and books. We are empty nesters now. Sadly, I have observed many empty nesters divorce. For us, being just the two of us again is an opportunity to go deeper and start a new chapter. It is our understanding that death does not part us, but reunite us in the afterlife for all eternity. If we have achieved artistic closeness, uh, if we have achieved artistic closeness, so we want to prepare well. I don't want to be lonely for all eternity.
Thank you for listening and have a good day.